So I saw a fantastic David Ammons. I've never seen it before. And could you speak to me about this collection of David Ammons that you have? So D David is very, very deep in the collection. We've been collecting him for a very long time. Um, all the aspects of, of his career. But you saw a piece called How You Like Me Now in the galleries that uh, we put up today. And there's a great story behind this piece and it's very well documented by the press. And Emily will tell that story because it's one that you want to you hear. Yeah, so, so David Hammonds was invited to participate in an exhibition in Washington, D.C. in 1988. The curator was Rick Powell, who uh, was um, heading up this project called the Washington Project for the Arts. His idea was to have multiple installations of art in public spaces in D.C. He invited David Hammonds, who agreed um, to set one of his artworks outside, and it was this portrait of Jesse Jackson portrayed as a white man. Now, at the time, Jesse Jackson was running for president, uh, but he wasn't getting much traction as a candidate. <laughs> so David's response to this was, what would happen if he were white? And this is why he depicted him very light-skinned, blonde hair, blue eyes. Across the bottom of the picture, David Hammonds spray painted the words, how you like me now, which is a direct um, quote from a Cool Modi rap song. Of course, taken out of context, it yeah. changes the whole meaning of the work. So the day that it was installed on, on this public lot, uh, a group of angry um, you know, onlookers decided that they found the piece very offensive. They, they were African-American people and um, they took sledgehammers to the work and started to attack it. Um, immediately, the, the staff at the WPA had to rush to take the work down because it was being damaged, but not before the media heard about this because it was in a public space. Yes. So the local newspapers picked up the story and said, you know, um, look what's happened, there's a scandal. Um, wrote about it and then Reuters picked up on it so then it became this kind of story that was circulating everywhere uh, they reached Jesse Jackson for comment and Jesse Jackson said uh, well I don't think this is a racist work of art I actually think it says a lot about the history of race relations in America and if I were the artist I would install the sledgehammers around the work like a barrier and I wouldn't repair the work because the history is now part of wow. this piece. So he did it. That's exactly what he did. And when did you buy it? Um, Ten years ago. Yeah. Maybe? And so how many works of uh, David Ammons do you have today? We have at least a dozen, but I don't know the exact number. I'd have to look. Right. Yeah. Maybe